Hinduism is the world's third most popular religion, with around 750 million followers. The religion of Hinduism originated in northeastern India near the river Indus about 4,000 years ago. The world's oldest existing religion, Hinduism, is practiced by more than 80% of India's population. You may be wondering who the founder of Hinduism is. The answer is nobody. It developed out of Brahmanism. Hinduism is the oldest known religion that still exists today. It may date back to prehistoric times. What is the symbol of Hinduism? The main symbol of Hinduism is something called Om. You hear it when they're deep in their meditation. When they're in their deepest meditation, you can hear it. It is said to be the name most suited for God. Where does the name Hindu come from? The word Hindu comes from the name of the river Indus, which flows 1,800 miles from Tibet through Kashmir and Pakistan to the sea. How is Hinduism different from other faiths? Hinduism has no founder. No single teacher, nor any prophets. Hinduism is not a single religion. Hinduism is the practices of a variety of different religious groups which came out of India. What do the Hindus believe? For many Hindus, religion is a matter of practice rather than belief. It is more than what you do than what you believe. Hindus believe in a universal soul or god called Brahman. Brahman likes to take on many forms that some Hindus worship as gods or goddesses in their own right. Hindus believe that there is a part of Brahman in everyone, and this is called the Atman. Hindus believe in reincarnation, a belief that the soul is eternal and lives many lifetimes in one body after another. The soul is sometimes born in a human, animal, or plant. Hindus believe that all forms of life contain a soul. And all souls had the chance to experience life in different forms. Samsara means going through the cycle of repeated births and deaths, reincarnation. Hindus believe that the existence in this cycle is governed by God. What is moksha? The spiritual goal of Hindu is to become one with Brahman. This freedom is referred to as moksha. Until Moksha is achieved, the Hindu believes that he or she will repeatedly be reincarnated in order that he or she may work towards self-realization of the truth. The truth being that only Brahman exists, nothing else. Hindus believe that the soul passes through cycle of life and its next incarnation always depends on how the previous life was lived. This is called karma. Karma is the cause of our particular destiny. Misfortunes in our present life are the result of acts that we have committed in the past. In the same way, our actions will present how we will live in the future. What is the Hindu way of life? For, for many Hindus, there are four goals in human life. Parasthartha's Moksha, the release of the soul from the cycle of rebirth. The individual Atman unites with Brahman, the universal soul. There are different ways of moksha, there's two ways, spiritual, working selflessly for the good of society, 
how a person is reincarnated is determined by dharma. Dharma, the code for leading one's life, respecting the elderly is considered important, and many consider marriage a Saw's religious duty. Three is Arthur, the pursuit of material gain by lawful means. And four is karma. Through the pure acts, knowledge, and devotion, you can reincarnate to a high level. The opposite achieves the contrary result. How do Hindus achieve moksha? There are four different paths to achieve moksha. And you can learn more about these at your library or over the internet. Everyone thinks that there are many Hindu gods, but in reality, there is only one that takes on many forms. The forms of Brahman include Brahma, known as the creator, Vishnu, known as the preserver, and Siva, known as the destroyer. A few others are Saraswati, goddess of wisdom, wife of the Lord Brahma, Lakshmi, goddess of wealth, wife of the Lord Vishnu, Parvati, regarded as a representative the Shakti. Parvati is the wife of Lord Shiva and the goddess of the household and motherhood. And Ganesha, son of Shiva and Parvati. What is the Hindu place of worship? Most Hindus worship Puja every day at home and have a shrine there. The shrine can be anything from a room, a small altar, or simply pictures or statues. Family members often worship together at the shrine. Hindus make offerings to a murki. A murki is a sacred statue of God or God or goddess. The Hindu building for Kamala worship is called the Mandar. We will be pulling up an image pretty soon. A mandar or Hindu temple. The temples are dedicated to different gods. They are the focus of religious life outside of India. People mainly gather at the mandar at the weekend. Worshippers repeat the name of their favorite gods, goddesses, and their mantras. Water, fruit, flowers, and incense are offered to the gods. What is Hinduism's holy book? The most ancient sacred texts of the Hindu religion are written in Sanskrit and called the Vedas. The Vedas are divided into two main categories, Truti and Smriti. The Hindu Holy Scripture are mainly comprised of the following worship written in the Sanskrit language the Vedas, the Upanishads, the Smartis, Ramayana, Mahabharata, and the Puranas. Puranas. What are the Vedas? The Vedas are the oldest religious texts. In Hinduism, the word Veda comes from knowledge. It is believed Vedas were orally revealed to Brahma, to uh, Brahma, to certain sages. You can learn more about these at your library as well. The four Vedas are Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda, and Arthava Veda. Each Veda is divided into four sections. The Samhitas, the Upanishads, are two of them.
What are the practices of Hindus? The practice of Hinduism consists of rites and ceremonies centering on birth, marriage, and death. Here, there are three basic practices. Worship, cremation, the dead are burnt, not buried, compliance with the rules of the caste system. The caste system is pretty much the job your dad has, you have. One of the major festivals is called Deepa Valley or Diwali, means a row of lights. It falls on the last two days of the dark half of Kartik, October through November. For some it is a three day festival. It commences when the down tears on the 13th days of, of the half Kartik, followed by the next day, the 14th day, and the deep valley proper on the 15th day. There are various aligned origins attributed to this festival. Some of they celebrate the marriage of Lakshmi, Lord with Lord Vishnu. In Bengal, the festival is dedicated to the worship of Kali. You can learn a lot more about the festivals in a book at your local library. But on this day, the interesting thing is that they forget about all of the bad things and they pretty much buy clothes for their employees if you're a manager. The Ganges is the most sacred river to the Hindus. It is a lifeline to millions of Indians who live along its course and depend on it for their daily needs. It is worshipped as the goddess. Thank you for watching and see